What's up guys? Today we are making cheddar basil bites. Is that right? Yeah. It's a very simple recipe and it's super tasty. You can just grab them, you can eat them all day, which is a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing. Maybe just make one batch of these. So we're gonna start here. We have six tablespoons of butter. They're at room temperature. We are going to add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Then you're just gonna mix that together for a minute. Now for this recipe, we're gonna be using cheddar cheese and Parmesan cheese. Uh, we're gonna go with one cup of cheddar cheese. Now we're gonna hit it with a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Now you're just gonna give this a light mix with a spatula. Now to bring this in to be more of a cracker, we are gonna add some coconut flour, a quarter cup. Now try to combine this as good as you can with a spatula. It's not gonna like fully come together, but you will get a nice little dough here eventually. Now we are gonna add some fresh basil. This really classes it up and just kicks up the flavor a lot. I would recommend getting some kind of fresh herbs in this. You can use dried, it won't be as good, but you know, parsley goes pretty good. Oregano goes fine. If you were gonna use dried, I would probably use oregano. Then just kind of group it together and chop it up. You want it pretty small pieces, but you want to know you're tasting a little basil too. So just incorporate that as good as you can. Now get out a couple pieces of parchment paper. Let's place the dough on here. You might want to form it together with your hands just to kind of make sure it's all nice and incorporated. Plop it down there. Now let's roll it out. And we actually have a custom rolling pin now. It was sent to us by Foodie Turn Sleevey and she watched our channel and we actually met her in New York. She's a real nice lady. She has a YouTube channel, I'll link it below. Thanks so much. So we can now actually use a rolling pin to roll this out. That's about the thickness we're looking for. Get yourself a baking sheet and another piece of parchment paper, and then you need some cookie cutters. How big do we wanna go here? Cookie cutter, use whatever size you want. I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger size just because it means less total cuts and less work. So you can start. Placing these onto the baking sheet. They are a little delicate, so just be gentle. If you're gentle with, with them, it's really no problem to get them on there. Okay, so I'm gonna get the rest of these onto the baking sheet. Then with this extra dough, we're gonna roll it out one last time, cut a few more, and we're gonna bake it at 325 for 12 minutes and we'll be back when they're done. The cheddar basil bites are out of the oven. And so we did have a little bit of problems with them this time. These are actually like a little bit flatter and not as crackery as we made the first time. And the only difference was these ones used finely shredded cheddar. The first time we used more of like a medium shredded cheddar. It's not as fine. I would say go with the, the not, the like more larger shredded cheddar, like not finely shredded. They should be pretty thick and crispy. It's really just like an actual soft cracker. We're gonna try this. This is really good. Mega made these like maybe a week ago for me and I, they were just sitting out. So whenever there's something sitting out that you can just grab like this, I just grab them. I ate like six of them in one day. It's like Jesus. Yeah, it tastes a lot like Cheez-Its, but obviously not as crunchy. The basil, you get it just like right at the end, just really good. So just to recap, try getting the more thicker shredded, what is the term for that? Is it like <laughs> thicker? Is like, just tr not finely. Yeah, try getting the not finely shredded cheddar, get like the thicker shredded, <laughs> get the thick shredded cheddar. <laughs> Instead of getting the finely shredded cheddar, I can't even say it now. Get the thicker shredded cheddar. It's probably better if you get the thicker. <laughs> Woo! Definitely not 
time. We would definitely recommend that you use a thicker shredded cheddar. <laughs> Go with the thicker shredded cheddar. <laughs> You're laughing too. Like We stored them on the counter for a day or two. I think you probably want to refrigerate them after, you know, if you're going to go any longer than that. But I mean, these are great for snacks, nice homemade quality snacks. Link to the actual recipe is in the description below. There's a blog post that has all the macros, all the ingredients, everything you need to make this. So give this one a try. This is a winner.